Hey Church family, this is my weekly update video and this is really part two in a whole bunch of kind of ideas that surround what does it mean for us as a church to be devoted to fellowship. If you haven't watched last week's video, I'd encourage you to go back and watch that video so that then you can kind of track along with me as we continue to look at a number of other issues. So this week I want us to look at uh, uh, just another four things and so to start with I want us to look at I don't know where to start maybe you're watching these videos and you're thinking to yourself Adam this sounds great I'd love to be involved in growing in fellowship but I don't really know where to start my encouragement if that's you would be to focus on maybe just one person a week that you're going to invite over for a cup of tea or for dinner do that for a few months and I think you'll find yourself easily stepping into a life of fellowship. One of the challenges is that if you don't start, the whole idea of fellowship can grow and grow into this much bigger issue. So my encouragement is get going. Meet, meet a few people on Sunday, invite them over for a cup of tea, invite them for lunch. And in a few months time, if you keep doing that in a few months time, You'll have found yourself in a groove and you'll be enjoying the richness that is fellowship. <clears throat> Secondly, I'm an introvert. Maybe you're sat here listening to this video thinking, but Adam, I'm an introvert. Well, so am I. And I understand the challenges of being an introvert in a church where there's lots of people and there's lots of new people. But I just want to encourage you, if you're an introvert, God's made you that way. Um, but he's also made you to be part of a family and so you've still got a part to play in building this church that's devoted to fellowship. Maybe you're going to go in first gear and there's going to be some other people driving in fifth gear in the whole area of fellowship. That's fine, but keep going. Find your place in this church that's devoted to fellowship. Thirdly, I don't have any spare money, Adam. By the time I get to the end of the week, I've got no money left. I can't be involved in fellowship because I've got no money. If that's you, I guess a couple of things to say is, one, please, if you are really financially stretched, do come and talk to us. We want to help. We want to stand with you in that. But two tea bags and a dribble of milk doesn't cost much. And that's maybe where each one of us can start inviting one another over for a cup of tea and fellowship can grow even out of two cups of tea as we drink tea together and share our lives with one another. And finally, Adam, I'm a bit scared. Adam, I'm a bit worried about this whole thing called fellowship. If that's where you're at, again, I just want to say to you, I understand that. But also, maybe this is a great opportunity for you to trust God that he will provide for you all that you need, whether that's assurance in yourself, whether that's confidence to go and ask somebody to come over for dinner. Maybe it's the confidence to be able to cook a meal. Maybe you've not cooked a meal for some time and you're a bit nervous about that. This is a journey of faith for all of us. And so, friends, please don't let being nervous or worried steal the joy of fellowship from you. God bless you all. I hope these videos have been helpful. And uh, over these coming months, let's continue to press into fellowship together.